So you've got a mobile crane or a heavy crawler crane and you want to carry parts of it on the road. What are you going to do? Well, one of the things you can use is a ballast trailer. And this is a model of a ballast trailer by WSI Models. This is a Volvo FH4 with a Goldhofer ballast trailer. And it's a limited edition in the colours of the Dutch company Haycoop. Assembly equals joining the tractor and trailer. So kingpin into fifth wheel, clunk click does the trick. Although maybe the design of the fifth wheel has changed very slightly. Because you have to push very hard to get the kingpin in on this model. The underneath of the Volvo has the gearbox highlighted in green. And the other details include the exhaust box and tanks and nice transmission details. The roof of the Globetrotter cab has small beacon lights and stub aerials, but the roof light is not actually see-through. The cab looks very attractive with its graphics and colour-coded mirrors. The big hay coop name is very sharp, and the Volvo grille is very nicely implemented. The lights look realistic, as does the number plate. There are more nice detailed graphics on the side of the cab, and that seems to also include a fleet number. The wheels have got coloured hubs and there are detailed graphics on the box behind. The big box is plastic but it looks very good. And there are the usual coiled lines and also a textured surface. The wheel arches are plastic like on a real truck. And the mud flaps have Volvo printed on. The Goldhofer trailer with this model is the six axle version. And it's got a high metal content and nice detailing. The tyres on the axles are all doubles, and the steering mechanism is nicely detailed. The trailer has a metal headboard at the front, and there are some very tiny graphics along the edges. The landing legs have got smooth pistons, but one negative is that they can't be fully retracted into the holder. Other details include a ladder and a box. Looking at the wheels, and they are very smart with their painted hubs. And at the back of the trailer there are more tiny graphics. There's a beacon light and also some very delicate tiny lights on the end of stalks. For the functionality we'll start with the Volvo and there's limited steering of the front two axles. But out on the cranes etc test track the Volvo rolls along in a straight line very nicely. We'll do our usual test on the steering. And you can see that the turning angle is very shallow. The cab can pose tilted, so let's get in close and have a look at the engine underneath. And you can see it's made up of some different coloured parts and there's a Volvo name on the top. That's on one side, so let's run around to the other side and take a look. And again, it's a high level of detail in a small scale. When we're done, the cab closes up smoothly. Moving on to the trailer and it is very nicely engineered. There's nice proportional steering on the rear four axles and that works smoothly. And each one also has independently sprung suspension. To avoid tyre wear when the trailer travels empty, you can clip the front two axles and raise them out of service. Once the clips are set properly, the axles are raised high enough so that they don't make contact with the ground when the trailer moves. The landing legs are already halfway down but they can be lowered further by unscrewing and there's a reasonable amount of extension possible. It's good enough so that when they are extended they provide firm support for the trailer. The trailer has a configuration option available which is the installation of deck posts but you might have to fiddle a bit to get them to stand straight. At the front of the trailer there's also a holder where you can store some of the deck posts. A trailer like this can probably carry around 100 tonnes. So here we're loading it up with counterweight blocks and that's 10 of them, each weighing 10 tonnes. With the trailer loaded, let's test it and see how it drives along. And as you can see, the rear steering works well. And if we stop and select reverse gear, we can see that we can also go backwards. So we've mentioned the maximum load for a trailer like this is probably around 100 tonnes. But this is cranes etc, so let's go further and double the load. And here we're putting 200 tonnes on board. Luckily we've still got some space for more, so let's add a big container on top. 
And we've also got some boom and jib sections to shift, so let's put those on too. To complete the load, let's also add on a pie wagon. Yes, only on cranes etc. can you see nonsense as realistic as this. This is a very nice heavy haulage model in the colours of Haycoop of Holland. It's got the usual high level of detailing from WSI, and most of the functionality is very good too. A model like this would look really good as part of a fleet or with a crane in the same colour scheme, and overall, it's very good.